I feel good. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's me Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm having to put my driving glasses on because my computer glasses are at my office in Rotherham and we're in Sheffield today. Right, so we've done the Mr Bean one, that's done. Uh, what's the next video we can do here? Somebody sent me questions about uh, th this video here and sh I should mention it. Frank Warren says Tyson Fury has the final say on all opponents. He's in charge of who he fights. So are we to believe Serifa Sarifi, Francesco Pianetta, Deontay Wilder, Tom Swartz and Otto Wallin. That's not Wally, it's Wallin. If that fight happens, are all Fury's choices? Frank Warren saying yeah. So that's Tyson Fury's five fights with Frank Warren. Will he sign a new deal? I don't know. Frank Warren has got him in with ESPN, so I'd have thought that he's still part of that. He'll still better get in a cut of that, won't he? So maybe I mind to jump the gun in yesterday's video saying that he'll leave BT Sport, but. Frank Warren is not bothered about people walking over the street, across the street as long as he gets his cut. Tyson Fury could quite easily end up on Sky and still with Bob Arum at ESPN and Frank getting a slice out of all of it. Now Frank's not his manager obviously but this is how I look at it. Tyson Fury is going to want to maximise as much income as he can from the UK. He's a, he's a Manchester born lad, he's, from, he's born in Withenshaw. And that's only right, he's the one going in the ring. Now, the ultimate fight for him now would be Wilder, wouldn't it, now that Joshua's been beat? Although I dare say he wants to fight Joshua and it'd still be a massive fight. And you'd have Eddie Earns saying he's probably bigger than ever now after what's happened to uh, Joshua Ruiz. It could be right, but it takes away a bit of sparkle, doesn't it? Because Anthony Joshua, he's been beat, hasn't he, Anthony Joshua? So a bit of the sparkle has gone off the fight. But I'm, I'm a firm believer that Tyson probably takes him to school and gives him a diploma. But they say everybody has a bogeyman, don't they? Is Tyson Fury's bogeyman John McDermott? Or is it Deontay Wilder? I think it's Deontay Wilder for the simple reason he's got the equaliser in both hands. And if they did fight again, I'm going to say that they both fight a different fight. I think that Tyson would be more offensive and he would go for it more and I think that Wilder I think he'd jump on him a little bit earlier I'm hearing that he would I can't say who off I'm hearing Wilder's going to jump on him if they fight but I'm going to stick to what I've been saying for the last few months since they fought that they will never ever fight again and I'm so confident in that that if Tyson Fury does fight Deontay Wilder again right I'm gonna shut my channel down and you can quote me to that how's about that that's how confident I am I am willing to shut my porky's ch corner channel down now let me tell you this there's more people trying to get me kicked off YouTube than you can imagine but when you surround yourself with good people and you do things correctly you ain't got a prayer but that's how confident I am. How's about that? I'm going to shut my channel down, Porky's Corner, if Tyson Fury fights Deontay Wilder next year. Because he ain't going to fight him next year. He ain't even fighting him this year. But they said he were fighting him this year, didn't they? And he ain't. The story just goes on and on and on. When you get to work in boxing industry and you hear things, I hear things that I can't repeat on here, and you see how things go, you tend to. I've spoke we 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 uh, Bunty about this at Dennis's dad's celebration of his life. When you get to see how it really works, I spoke to Mick Whale about this, Chris Medley, Dennis, all sorts of people. You think to yourself, "Wow!" And like I said, I'm pretty confident that Tyson Fury will not fight Wilder next year. How's about that? And if you don't fight him next year, he ain't gonna fight him at all, is he? What they're doing, waiting for him to get to 40 year old, like they do Luis Ortiz. 
I mean, Tyson's been in mix to fight Lewis Ortiz, hasn't he, for the last six years? Longer! We're nowhere near. We're nowhere near Joshua. Nowhere near. They're not going to fight people where it's going to be an hard fight. And I don't blame them as well because if you can get 11 million for, for knocking bin men over that are undefeated and taking their O's, banging hoes and taking O's. Tommy the Guru Allen's saying that. Look, we can all take O's, can't we? But who are these people beating? Who's Swartz beat? Who's Walling beat? Look, it is what it is, isn't it? Tyson Fury's not going to fight Deontay Wilder again. He's had a taste of it, hasn't he? He's never been dropped like that before. He'll be thinking, wow, if I could got it, if I got it early on in fire, I'm not going to get up. I'm going to look alright, Wally, aren't I? I'm going to look like, oh, oh, Wally, oh, Wally. So no, he ain't going to fight Wilder again. So all you people who keep going on about this rematch and all that and leaving comments, like I said, I am willing to shut my channel down and let all you haters rejoice and raise a glass to me. Somebody were raising a glass to me yesterday in the comments section. I'm that confident, alright, and I'll walk away from boxing. I'll walk away from it if he fights him next year. Because it isn't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Just keep watching this space. But, looking at this, you know, he, he picks his own fights. Of course he does. They're not, they're not going to tell you people that. They're going to make out that other people are picking them now. The fact that Frank Warren is saying... Tyson Fury has the final say in all his fights. That to me, by Frank Warren, that is a dig. That is a dig at Tyson to get Frank Warren out of out of mess that he's in with people having a go at him about Otto Wallen. He's saying, well Tyson picks the fights. Look, we can all dress it up, can't we? BT Sport, ESPN, pay-per-view, 20 quid, undefeated fighter. But so what? Chris Norad were undefeated who Yui Fury for and look at state of him. Look at look at all crap that Peter got. But surely Yui were allowed allowed one like that, one he his age and to get a win up board after that bad cut against Pool left. But Tyson is the Lanier heavyweight champion of the world. I mean all these Tyson Fury fans that give me grief, I mean, I forgot all your names, who you are, is it Richard Francis, Robert Britton, Oasis One? The Celters, Mr. God won a summer. Yeah, you're all Tyson fans and that's good. And you're all hardcore boxing fans, but when you sit down and you go to bed at night and you put your head on a pillar, you think to yourself, who are we supporting here? Who is he fighting? You're coming out with all this Laniel crap. Who are you fighting? Who? Come on. Tyson's not bothered, he's like that, isn't he? Woo -hoo -hoo! Millions and millions and millions! For knockover jobs. Is he bothered about the fans? No. Would anybody bothered about him when he was two years from boxing? No, he was treated like a dog, wasn't he? So he's having his revenge. So good on Tyson. But don't be people sending me emails and death threats and all this because I said that Tyson's not fighting anybody. Look, at end of the day, it's my opinion, isn't it? Boxing's full of opinion, they're like toenails, aren't they? Everybody's got them, unless you've had your feet cut off or your toes. You know what I mean? Everybody's got toenails, aren't they? But, why should Tyson have to take risks fighting Wilder when he can get mega money for fighting some pub doorman who's, who's had a few fights and undefeated? It's a business, isn't it? And it's took me a long time to get this into my head. But it's a business. When fighters, uh, most improved fighters, I, I now, I look at it with suspicion. When I see people that are most improved fighters, John Pascal's, they're going to say he's most improved after what he did at weekend, but as he took out, we don't know, do we? Were there any testing for the fight? We don't know. The same Dillian White's most improved heavyweight in the world, Paulie Malignaggi keeps saying it. Now, Paulie Malignaggi, behind the scenes has been saying a few things that he shouldn't be saying but he wouldn't say them on TV would it? because he's getting paid but if that had been anybody else well we know what Paul would be saying don't we? I mean he made all the accusations about Manny Pacquiao didn't he? but Manny's never failed the test 
But yeah, Gillian White's failed one test and he's and, he, and he's, he's up for another test. He's not said a dicky bird. Why? Because Paul Malinardi is employed by Sky. They fly him over first class, they put him in a nice hotel, pay all his food expenses and give him a nice healthy check to go back to Bensonhurst with in New York. So Paul Malinardi is not gonna rock the boat, is he? He's another Sky company man on the payroll. They're not gonna rock the boat. So that's just how it is. But the bottom line is this. Tyson Fury picks his own fights. Picks them and he chooses them. And he, the blame lies with Tyson Fury. It doesn't lie with BT Sport, Bob Arum, MTK, Ben Davidson. None of them are to blame. Tyson Fury is to blame for the guys he's fighting. Respect for fighting Wilder, that were a shortcut onto the American scene and it paid off for him, didn't it? Because he was more famous than ever. So well done to Tyson Fury. I admire that and the guy's got skills to burn. He's a masterful boxer. But he's weak around here, isn't he? And he's the one picking these fights. And like I've just said, Tom Swartz, that's on the board. And who we got next? Otto Wally. So the Wilder fight's further away than ever. You can't just go Tom Swartz two rounds, Otto Wally two rounds, and then jump back in with Wilder because you've not got the rounds under your belt, have you? Since the Wilder fight, they're saying he needs rounds and all this. He hasn't got him under, under his belt, has he? So, don't be thinking that he's going to fight Wilder. I can assure you, the Frank Warren interview you've just seen yesterday, when pressed about that fight, what does he say? He starts going, well, if obstacles get it way and all that. I've got interviews with Frank Warren saying, definitely autumn 2019, yes please. Now they're saying first few months in 2020. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out to SYM Metals at Sheffield. Climber Cool in Doncaster. Air conditioning company. Full UK and Europe they do. Pubs, hotels, houses, industrial estates. And shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging, alright? Like and subscribe. I want you to subscribe because when the content comes out, you get your porky fix straight to your phone. Alright? Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Poof. They love it when I throw a straight right out. My name is Tony Bellew and I get my smile with Calm Dental. Yeah, that's all, folks.